Virgos, good morning, lovies. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Empress Meek, and I am here to bring in your daily messages and see what messages that you need to know for the rest of the week, maybe, or any energy that is surrounding you or coming towards you, okay? Also, we're going to pick up the energy of anybody who is on your mind and whoever's thinking about you. All right, so I meditated on your energy, Virgo, and thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for whoever's cross-watching, your likes, shares, and subscribes. So playfulness came out for you, Virgo, when I was doing your pre-shuffle. I feel like there is somebody in your energy that is causing you to feel this nostalgia. I feel like for a lot of you, there is somebody causing you to feel happier. Maybe you feel a sense of more peace surrounding your love life and relationship life. Even if this is a lighthearted friendship, this person is um adding to you you know i feel like this person is adding a lot of positive energy a lot of love and light to your to your life right at this time all right a lot of you are feeling really really good and you feel this connection evolving all right this is for my loves that have done the work okay this is you being an expectation but not waiting this is you trusting but not holding yourself back because you don't have what you want you know um this is you walking by faith and knowing that spirit has something better 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 in store and i feel like now these things are coming to you um i feel like you feel a lot more uh <clears throat> a lot more light like the light the the feeling of just having a weight lifted you know a weight of worry um of just not knowing or feeling like you're not really sure what's out there for you. I feel like for a lot of you, this particular opportunity just gave you hope, if anything. Even if you don't go far with this connection, I feel like it evoked some type of hope and activated your heart chakra um, in a way where it's having you more in expectation, okay? So we got trust here. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept, the current situation, it will automatically transform. Wow. So for some of you, you feel euphoria with somebody. For some of you, you need to just accept that this, you've met your person. Um, the more you doubt, I feel like the more you could change the energy or cause some type of shift where it's making you wait even longer. But for a lot of you, your intuition is telling you that you might have very well met your person. Okay, so you see that here and you want to show you more and, and make sure like you need more confirmation like this is big. I need to make sure I cannot block in on this if I'm not positive, right? So a lot of you spirit is giving you the signs that you're asking for, okay? Some of you have to accept that your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations, but they definitely have um, attributes about them that surpass your exes and the way that they had you in waiting okay and in lack so you're gonna see a lot of difference here i feel like we did see that this person is coming into your life um and there's gonna be some work to do okay got a lot of love to give and a lot of healing energy and i feel like your soulmate is gonna come to you wounded all right they're gonna need your help you guys are learning this about these people that if you've already met them that now this is a person you can actually pour into and it's gonna be on fertile ground now not just pouring, pouring, pouring in your cup, get poured out or poured into somebody else that don't even deserve it, right? I feel like this is one of those situations where it's right on time, but somebody here, this fell out of the deck, somebody here is suffering from fears and limitations, not knowing if this is going to play out right or not knowing if this is going to work. Somebody feels like this is too good to be true, okay? Spirit, don't play with me, please. Not about love, okay? I hear you. All right, so let's see, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels. Thanks for bringing me here with my Virgos. We appreciate all the cross watchers and super spies that are watching. Thanks for your support, guys. All right, we thank you for all you do in the Divine Realm. Seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Thank you so much for giving us witty ideas, acceleration, and binding the spirit of procrastination. We thank you for victory in each and every situation we may face. Thank you for giving us a calmness in our spirit, allowing us not to overthink. All right, we accept every blessing that you and the universe have for us wholeheartedly. And we are admitting and receiving that our abundance and our love will always come and overflow. And we thank you right now and we count it done. Amen. 
Amen. And thank you for healing our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. <laughs> All right, Virgos, come on, let's get into it. Spirit, show my Virgos what they need to see. What's the message for Virgos today? Whoa, transformation. Somebody is going through this spiritual transformation is making them be a bit fearful about the future. They don't know what to expect because they're walking on unfamiliar territory. Okay. Somebody here is walking into a total new experience, doing something different that they've never tried before. This person is different from what you're used to. I feel like somebody is definitely taking a chance with you, Virgo, and they're happy to have you while they're going through this transformation. Yes, somebody's person here is balancing their dark night of the soul. They are recognizing their worth. They are answering the call right in front of your face, guys. Somebody here is with somebody that is actually going through it. And you are the perfect person to be here with this person while they're going through this. This is not some rebound situation. This is divine intervention bringing you two together because there's a common goal here. There's a common spirit here and there's a common effort here. And not only that, you're praying for the same things. All right. So spirit says, your angel's like, we got somebody perfect. This is a perfect match. Everything's going to work. It's going to work. All right. But that's only if you two apply this pressure. You two got to be serious. Like Virgo, if you're here supporting this person while they're going through this spiritual awakening, you got to be ready because they need your love, honey. They want it. And this is somebody that's going to be giving back. You see both of these people look extremely satisfied, very comforting, very comforted by the other. All right. It's one of those situations where you know, you just know. So I'm glad whoever is watching me that didn't give up, did not give up. And you trusted spirit. You trusted these messages because it's here. It is here. A right de divine intervention, a detour. Somebody made a change for the better. All right. Let's see what spirit is doing here. Mm, let me see. All right. Con ooh. Stability, harmony, and flow. Somebody is heading to marriage. Contracts, careers, and commitments. All right, I feel like this is going to be somebody and y'all going to be building business together. Y'all going to be working together. Somebody got their divine masculine here. And for some of my divine masculines, this is you going through this transformation. This is you answering the call. This is you realizing that spirit did not forsake you. All right. And it's somebody that I do readings for. He comes monthly and he's waiting for his person. I think that your person is coming, love. Like, get ready all right like you guys get ready for this okay prepare yourself like be open um be ready to use your your intuition because you're gonna have to all right be ready to be balanced and not overthink it's time for you to show this these people what you got you told spirit oh i'm a husband oh i'm a wife oh no i am divine well there you go time to show and prove let's see what you got virgo <laughs> let's see if you are answering the call baby let's see if you're answering the call all right, so we got this energy here on the board, and we're about to break it down. I want to get a message, some messages here. Let's see how this person is feeling about you, if they're feeling the same way, or if they feel overwhelmed. We're going to put a card on each one, see what comes out for this person's feelings. For Virgo, Spirit, thank you for giving us clear messages. Show Virgo what this person is feeling about them at the time. Can they trust this? And I know you can. All right, so guys, it says yes, trust this limitations and fears why is that here is that here for virgo i'm not ready so virgo this is your person for some of you this is my male virgos talent feeling like i'm just not ready for this i don't know if i could do this i just have a few more things i want to do for the majority this is the person okay that's what we asked for all right but it's going to resonate differently for a few okay so Let's see, because we got some Virgos that's watching on the other end. All right, so, right, so, all right, so, for some of them, that's how they feel. For some of you, my divine masculines here, you feel like you're not ready. You're trying to get your finances together. There's a few more things you want to put in place before you actually solidify a relationship. Like, you want somebody that is going to be able to be patient while you complete this, this mission, like this elevation period, right? 
So transformation here, we got Pluto, friends or family disapprove of this connection. So Virgo, this person, there may be something about you. It could even be that you watch tarot. Like it's something about you that somebody is disapproving of with this person. So it says family or friends disapprove of this connection. So for some of you, it's an ex that came back and you know that their family is toxic. They don't want you two together. For a lot of you, this is just what this person is going through and whoever he's been talking to or she's been talking to about you, they are like, uh, I don't know and or whatever. So let's see, spiritual awakening, what's happening here? And I feel like this person may tell you this or if you ask this person like, how their friends feel about that or anything like that, they may say something. Okay, you are always on my mind. So this person is going through their spiritual awakening and they think about you constantly. Um, For a lot of you who they've already met, you've already met this person, they think about you a lot, Virgo. You're changing this person's life. Like It's like you're helping because you're opening this person's heart up and this person was losing faith, right? Um, This person was... But when it comes to stability and this person having everything they need to feel like they can um, provide for you and make sure you're happy, they feel like they, they're they not good enough for you. They do. They feel like they're not good enough for you. And they're struggling with this. They feel blown away by this opportunity with you. And some of them just feel like they're not good enough. All right? Male or female energy. It's like, damn. Like, are they going to be looking down on me? Like, do they, like, do they respect me? Like, how do they feel? Like, yeah. So, Virgo, be humble, okay? Make sure you mind your manners and make sure you're meek and mild, you know? Make sure that the person feels the, the compassion of the Lord and the joy of the Lord with you because they need healing right now. And really what they need most is nurturing. And I feel like this person isn't in a horrible situation, but when it comes to these money and commitments and career like these things this person is really like they're in how do you say it's they're up to their neck in it like it's just like they got debt and all this stuff that they're trying to work out the good news about this is i do feel the energy that this person is working otherwise they wouldn't have this feeling of i'm not good enough for you or i'm not ready those two are indicators that this person, y'all heard the phone chime, that's indicators that this person is working, they are manifesting, and they're trying to bring these things together, okay? Um, we got I dive in and out of relationships at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is used to just run, like they run away, and like they, they just run away. They don't face anything. And I feel like Virgo with you, you're going to teach this person how to come out of that energy. I feel a very positive, soothing energy here. Um, you deserve better than me, poor thing. Like, this person is just feeling so sad. Like, they they think so much of you, Virgo, that they feel like you deserve better. They don't want it to ever be a time when you walk away from them. All right? And we got divine intervention here. This is a faded union. I feel like this person is having problems with their finances. But I feel like the intervention is you can bring balance to them in that area. Virgo, how good are you with finances and making ideas and helping somebody plan? Like, you're needed here. You're nurturing, your love, your compassion, your, your witty ideas and helping guide this person. I feel like you got to give a little to get a little. I, but I honestly, I believe that when you give a little, you get a whole lot. And it happened for me all the time. So I feel like Spirit is telling you, th these are the things you need to know that this person needs. And it's a small thing to a giant in your book. This person's struggling with the things that you mastered in. Like, you're a, you're a pro. You're a novice at this. Like, you could get paid for helping people clean their life up. Like, so this is nothing for you. This is a walk in the park. Thing is, you have to make sure that you're pouring into this person in a way that they're able to fill, fill your cups back up. You cannot go depleting yourself. And giving all or over giving to this situation. You can't play mom or dad. You just have to give your gifts. Use your gifts and that is it. That's all that's required here. And that's why Spirit is saying this just got a whole lot easier for you. Okay? Look, our story isn't over yet. This person is not going to let you go. They're not going to let you go, but they do know that they're not ready and they want you to be patient. I feel like because when they give you this experience, it's going to be just that an experience, okay? And they want to give you everything that you deserve. This person knows that they can't leave you in limbo, okay? 
they know that this is very strong energy here for a lot of you it's a very masculine energy here like they're not afraid to take control they're not afraid to leave and they know what you need okay so let's move on a little bit get a little bit deeper into this virgo we're gonna try not to let this spill over in the 30 minutes honey we're gonna do our best but i'm gonna give you what you need all right i'm gonna give you this meat okay because i want y'all happy and in love you deserve your divine counterpart a lot of my virgos don't feel comfortable out here in this world by themselves but we do it we handle it we do it and shit some of y'all said shit i ain't out here <laughs> oh my god no, <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> Who out here? Not me. Shit, I ain't coming out here. Nah, -uh. okay. Look, I don't blame you, and you know I don't be out here. Like sometimes I'm out there, not much, but I have to, you know. All right, so let's see. When my energy goes, healing goes. So I, I have to make sure I get outside. Like spirit pushes me out there. Like get out. <laughs> it's always something that comes up to make me get out. All right. So, guys, let's see what's going on here. Spirit, show Virgo a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's see. Some told me put a get some tea leaf cards. So, I'm going to get some tea leaf cards to see if something comes out that's going to excite you. Because I am i don't know why I'm drawn to them. I didn't want to use them. <laughs> Ooh, somebody going to be going on a vacation. Somebody, you, you need a vacation. And Spirit is sending it. He's lining the stars up for you, baby. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Write it down. What's today's date? Yep. I told you you're going to get that vacation. It's coming. It's coming. And know what? You got a beautiful person to take you. Finally, you got somebody to go with. Okay. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Mm. <laughs> Let the church say, yay, man. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Somebody is about to go on vacation. For some of y'all, this situation for you is such a breath of fresh air. You ain't sleep this good in years. <laughs> Who said that? Put it in the comments. Who was saying, honey, I got the best sleep? Like, let me hear it. Let me see. <laughs> All right. So heartache over what you no longer have is here also. So I feel like these are some energies that Spirit is going to be telling you to let go. Those ones where you're remembering, you're thinking about a person. Um, some of y'all lost your divine um, person. You're, somebody passed away. And you know, and you really miss your person. You just like, but this not them. And I got to start over. And I just like, why? Like, but baby, trust me on this. God got you, okay? It's major challenges to overcome when it comes to this heartbreak. And you holding yourself back in sorrow, okay? And and going through this pain. Now, this is something special for somebody here. They needed to hear this and you watch me. And you don't say anything. But you hurting. You miss your person. And you getting tired of every time you look at the reading. It's talking about the past person coming back. And you're like, well, I be damned. Not mine. Not no ghost. So, can I please, Spirit, can you give me something for me? Well, baby, this is for you. Okay? It's time for you to come out of that sorrow it's time for you to feel better about the situation what situation that you got one hell of an angel up there watching over you right next to god that's a blessing in itself you got extra help in the divine realm and what else can you be thankful for this person can usher in a true love for you somebody that is gonna be able to fill their shoes while you're here Know the help you have in the divine realm and know that you are not forsaken. Spirit ain't forget you. And every prayer is heard. Every prayer. Everything happens for a reason. And the sooner you embrace that, God's way, God's ways, not our ways. The universe works in a total different spectrum and sequence. So you have to be able to release control, release doubt, release fear and worry, and go with the flow. That's the message here for a lot of you, okay? Ooh, child don't y'all give up on me y'all know i gotta give these messages don't you do it not not before you get your blessing not before you get the keys you need to make it that's why i'm here i choose to be a vessel for you because i want you to have this look successful outcome to your problems this is what you needed all right let's plant these seeds let's water these seeds let's go okay come on my seed planters in the comments encourage your sisters and brothers now what, what they got coming to them what tell them about how your divine counterpart found you after you mastered your lessons tell them tell them about it tell them about their spiritual journey tell them to be an expectation am i right about it drop some hearts 
Show me love. Put some purple hearts down there. Acceptance. Apology. Let's go, spirit. Let's do this thing. Integrity. Okay, let's do this thing. What else? Okay, all right. Let's see what we're working with. We don't want no stone unturned because guess what? This healing journey is real. We don't need no surprises. No surprises. Unless it's a good surprise. And sometimes we so daggone nosy. We don't even like that. I know. I see. Okay. You my sister. You my brother. You know I know you, baby. I know you because you me. In a lot of ways, you know, it takes growth. It takes effort. It takes consistency. And that's one thing you're learning over here by me being here every day, by me showing you how things unfold, by you listening and seeing these seeds in a planet grow. Consistency. Y'all teaching me. Consistency. Get your tail up and get on this camera. Get in here, girl. That's y'all. Y'all on my case. You're on my heels. And you don't play about it. And so I love you for that. Iron sharpens iron. All right. I be having my warriors come and showing up. They be rising up in the comments like, where you at? They be starting to send that love and everything they need to send to get me back on the camera. They know. All right. Because we get challenged also. You healed. You know, when you healed and you called to do a great mission, the devil constantly tries to attack you and stop you. And because they know how powerful you are and your seeds, oh, mighty. All right. So enough about that. <laughs> I had to encourage somebody heart today because I love y'all and somebody's hurting. Somebody missing their person. That's why we respect each other in the comments. Your story is not more important than anybody's. And sometimes it's just not your day to see yours. And that's all right. I get personal readings. You have your own discernment. And you know, part of the lessons you learn here is to tap in. All right, time for you to elevate, tap in on your own, right? Now, let's go start seeds. <laughs> Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Everything, okay? The sooner you accept that, the sooner you're going to grow and walk into all this goodness that you want. It's all about what you want and what you believe you can do. Stop letting people speak death into your life. How the hell do they know what you can do? Because you don't reveal half the stuff you can do. So how the hell do they know? Don't listen to them, okay? apology you can expect the apology you want to hear you always knew it was coming you know it's coming spirit don't want you to live your life based around waiting for that thing like no he needed to fool you to make you think this person done completely forgot and went oblivious to all the shit that they did <laughs> i'm sorry all the sugar honey iced tea that they caused you know like that spirit had to trick you because otherwise you will be sitting at the window like Go ahead and laugh it out. Let it out breathe. Just let it marinate. You need this today. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals is something you always need to ask yourself. Now, how do you feel about this person going through financial hardship? How do you feel about how this connection is playing out in your life? How do you feel about it? Is it going to hinder you? Is it anything happening that you don't believe in and you don't feel like is here? This comes out for you to look at it. Take a look at what's happening. How do you feel about it? Are your morals being compromised if you let this person back in your life? You know what you worked on. And you know how easy it is for you to succumb to other people's demons and spirits and stuff. Whether this person is a good vessel or not, you are very aware that it only takes a second for you to fall back into any bad habit that you release. It's time for you to set boundaries and it's time for you to stand 10 toes down on what you believe. And let this person know where you stand with it. Then they make their choice, all right? You're going to help this person make choices that better their life because they want you to look at them in another light. It's going to be for them because they have their own goal to achieve, you know, when it comes to their spiritual development and who they see themselves as as a person. But Spirit is letting you know that at this time, like in this situation, you and this person are going to need nurturing, care, self-respect, and everything. Like, you know, you have to, you're, you're going to have to, Meet each other halfway. That's what I'm seeing. Because with this nurturing card, you two are going to be nurturing each other back to 100%. We do it every day. But now you have your own person to nurture also. You know, your, your, your work not done. But now you have your own personal person. And this person is going to be in your life as long as you receive them. But you have to set your boundaries. Don't let these things that this person is going through trigger you. Don't let yourself get caught up in their thinking, you know, because they're being healed. You got to remember that this person is still is not whole. 
a lot of you are. So you have to stand firm and don't play parent to this person. You have to let this person show you that they can stand on their own two feet because if they can't, abort mission. You have to. You got to be ready. You have to be ready. <clears throat> Decision. It is time to decide about this relationship. For a lot of you, this person is here. Right? For a lot of you, they're here. And you need to think about things. You need to figure out what you want. Are you willing to go the extra mile with this person? Have you talked to them enough to make that decision? It's time for you to make some moves. Make some moves. Because inevitably, this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. This person is going to submit to these feelings. Because they are answering the call. Your divine is being elevated. Masculine and feminine. They are opening their eyes to what's in front of them. They're walking away from the things that aren't serving them. And they're coming to you. This is fate. You want to see what's under that? Y'all see me shuffling these cards. New love. You see what else? Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. This person is stuck. Okay? One person is giving more in this relationship, right? Because I feel like you're not stuck. You're all in. You're ready. And this person has got one foot in. They're not ready to run out. But they're just like, I'm not about to put both feet straight down until I know I can do this. They're not going to do it unless they know they can do this. They need that reassurance. And they're, they have to be getting that reassurance from spirit this time. You cannot do it. Don't you try to reassure this person that... You can be with you can stay with me. No. Say what you have to say. Extend that comfort to let them know what type of situation this is and that it's sturdy over here. It's safe over here. Like this table over here. You let them know however you need to, and then you 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 planted that seed already. You leave it alone. Right? Don't overdo it. And be patient. Spirit says you need to balance. All right. Don't give too much. Y'all know how y'all can be. Y'all need this reading. <laughs> You need this reading. You don't want to train this person to mistreat you. Do not train this person to be expecting you to do everything. Don't train this person to think that you don't need love and you don't need somebody to meet you halfway because that's a lie. Okay? Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. All right? In some ways, you and this person might not say, share the same vision. For some of you, this is a twin flame and this person might not tell you that. That they don't share the same vision. So it's important that you go slow. Don't give too much into this relationship. And take your time so you can see what this person is doing. Right? Let's go ahead and get a couple tarot cards. We're going to find out what your advice is from Spirit. And see how you want to move on. Move forward in this situation. And see exactly what you need to know here. Because this is serious for a lot of you. And this is evolving. You guys are getting closer. You see that your soulmates. You see that this is divine. All the stars are aligning, but you need to know that it's some things that you need to let play out naturally to make sure that this is the situation for you. The universe is going to be calling you to make a decision on this connection soon. Are you going to stay or are you releasing this? <clears throat> Let's find out what you need to know to make this right decision. We're going to find out what is here. Are you releasing it? Should you release it or should you stay? This is going to lead to marriage. This is going to lead to a living situation. This could very much turn into a karmic cycle if you two aren't on the same page, if boundaries aren't established now. Okay? So let's find out. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Thank you for being here with me and my Virgos. Show me clear messages about what Virgo can expect from this person. How does my Virgo need to move forward in this connection? Show me clearly, Spirit. What messages you have for Virgo? All right, we got... Okay, first card that popped out. The star. All right, so there is healing here. Rejuvenation. The star talks about restoration. The star talks about a wish being granted. This could be somebody who is in the limelight, who is a star. This could be somebody famous. Okay, but whoever we have here... You are wishing on a star, asking spirit to connect you with who you belong with. You put a lot of good into the universe and you have crazy faith. You believe. You know. You've been manifesting this whole time. 
quiet as it's kept. You know you're a master manifester. And what's coming to you is meant for you because you bringing it in. You're asking for all your divine love, light, finances. You want to walk in spirit's wealthy place. You want to be in alignment with the universal energies of love, true love, abundance, wealth, and prosperity. You have been manifesting this. I feel like spirit is answering your prayers. All right. Acceptance that everything happens for a reason. Yes, because your prayers are answered. Your prayers and affirmations are being answered right now. Yes, you got to believe it to receive it. I heard somebody say, it's happening. That Yes, you got to believe it to receive it. Oops, and there was another card that just popped out. Hold on. Wait, that's not it. It was red. It had a lot of red. All right, I lost it. So it's going to, oh no, here it is. <laughs> it was this. It was the eight of wands. Okay, so I feel like this is happening fast. Things are happening fast. And Spirit is like, pump your brakes, pump your brakes. I know this feels good, but you need to you need to look at this. So for some of you, it's happening. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, it's going to be moving fast. This is you possibly going out with somebody. Y'all could have been out in the community having fun. You could have, um, this person could invite you to see their family or something. But this is you going out. Some of you are about to go out on a date. I feel like this date is going to be so beautiful. Like, you're going to be like, oh my God, y'all going to be all into each other. <laughs> Boundaries are set here. Death and a rebirth, okay? Because somebody is going through a transformation and you know it could be a little bit tr dangerous, okay? Because you can't be subject to this person's demons that they're getting rid of. You can't be open to that. You got to make sure you're standing your ground because you get tested in this situation too. Some of these people are going through karma and they're trying to pay their karmic debt. All right, so you cannot, listen to me carefully, Virgo, you cannot pay this person's karmic debt. Do not plant your fertile seeds of finances into this person's karmic debt. Do not use your money to pay off this person's bills. If this person has a credit card bill that they owe that's 915, you can't pay it because you're going to cause conflict and disconnection. Do not do that. That's for them to figure out and work out. Know what you can do? You can plant an idea, plant a seed of how they can get the money. That's what you're here for. You're here to nurture them and let them know it's going to be okay. They can do this, all right, while they're going through this tough time and while they're learning how to balance their finances. Do you pay it for them? No, don't do it, Virgo. This is what, why you feel that coming from me so strong? Because a lot of you have been doing it, bringing the damn tower down on yourself. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear you crying in the comments. I want to feel that. I want to see you happy and thankful that, thank God, I, right on time, I got this message. Share it, you know? Share it with somebody who's not a Virgo because Virgo probably in their chart. If you're moved to share this message, it's because you know that somebody can resonate with this. You, you have Virgo in your chart somewhere if they resonate with this. Like, don't worry. Share the message when you move to share the message, okay? Y'all know we don't um, stay in our sun sign all year. But we got judgment here. What's the judgment here for spirit? Show Virgo. A number 20 on this card. Somebody is getting karmic karmic justice in a relationship. Somebody is having to balance their shadow side. And they are praying, seeking spiritual guidance and wisdom as they go through this transformation because they just want to be better. This matches your energy, Virgo. They just want to be better. They just want to be elevated. They just want to be healed. They like take everything from me that does not serve me. Re rele I release this. All right. This person is releasing this energy that does not serve them. This person is saying affirmations. This person is talking to spirit. Look, saying affirmations, confirming, confessing, declaring, and proclaiming. Okay. This person's not playing. And I feel like that's why you and this person are connected. A mighty warrior or something like that. Like I'm feeling that in the spirit for this person. Like they... This is what they want, all right? But they, they're working on it, okay? Spirit, they realize Spirit is giving them this. And this person doesn't want to be in confusion any longer about their past. Something that you need to see, that you need to know about this person. This person is going through some type of depression right now and they're not telling you. This person hasn't been feeling happy. And they haven't been feeling good. They haven't been feeling motivated. Some of you, this is a, um, a Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, and they've been in their hermit mode. They've been just isolated by themselves, wounded. 
they they have been in a lot of mental conflict arguing with somebody consistently and constantly about how a home should be ran how children should be raised how families should be and all these things and this person just it's like they've got weighed down by that a lot of confusion here you know this person has been struggling to make sure they make the right choices i feel like this person is really thinking about very carefully and being strategic about how they move now because I feel like they see their dreams coming true. Now they see what they ask for and what they what they ask God to do in their life. They see this happening slowly but surely. This person believes and they're planting these seeds, Virgo. And I feel like this, this is going to be the start of something beautiful because this person is coming out of this energy. They're coming out of this energy and the introspection is working. Like they're believing and they're claiming this. All right, the divine intervention is love, true love for the both of you. All right, a soulmate connect, a soulmate connection that is made to stand the test of time, a love that you can brag about, baby. It's here for you, a love that you can brag about. Hmm. Let me see what else spirit wants you to know. This person could be definitely struggling. This person is trying to balance their shadow energy. This person is trying to um. This person is trying to not give in to their urges and everything. I feel like this person got betrayed really bad. Ten of Swords. Why is Ten of Swords here, show Virgo? Yeah. Somebody got this person to let down their guard and they betrayed them. Seven of Wands. Um, they, weren't, they weren't standing their ground. I feel like this person just gave in and let things just... It's just things just got out of whack. But they're trying to pick things up. They're trying to they got cheated on really bad. But now they're trying to they're trying to reconnect with spirit. They're trying to reconnect with the world. Um they really want to equal give and take here. And I feel like with you, um, this person, the angels are bringing balance to the situation. We're trying to let you know, to ask yourself, you know, is think are things right here? Is this gonna be an equal give and take? There's something going on with this person's money. You know, like, it's like you may need to just step back and let this person figure these things out. Right? This person is not setting boundaries when it comes to money or and things like that. Like, this person needs to really balance their energy. So, this is what Spirit wants you to know. Okay? Um, and it could have something to do with the child's mother or the child's father. Um, but definitely, I feel like this person is trying to manifest a new beginning. I feel like for a lot of you, you're ready to be a wife or this person is looking at you like a wife or a lot of you are being looked at like a husband. But this person is very ambitious and this person really wants to go through with this. They're ready to leave their issues behind. This is them stepping out on faith and taking the leap of faith because they see Ten of Cups in you. They know that this will be a very happy situation. Virgo, this was very deep. Oh my God, this was deep, okay? This was, the overall energy here is manifesting. You guys are both manifesting each other. You you have the, the qualities that complement each other and you guys are seeing that. For some of you, it's time to rest and recharge. Take it easy today. Even in stillness, there is movement. So a lot of you, Spirit is telling you it's safe to rest and recharge. Y'all know I've been recharging, so I don't think this is for me. I think this is whoever this is with this energy.